Um, you know, man, it's been, it's been a, like I talked to the guys, but it's been a tough couple of weeks. So at, it was, uh, it was, it's great to be in this room after a win um, and seeing the way, you know, the boys are in there. They're spirited, you know, they're excited right now. And it's great to see them be able to celebrate all the hard work they put in. Because you know what? They've played their tails off since the beginning of the year. And, you know, hadn't had much to show for it coming into tonight. So I'm really proud of the way they responded. This guy right next to me got a lot on him. And we got a lot of young guys doing special things. Charles Williams, I mean, what a night he had. And, you know, it's funny because he's been texting me about this since we signed him. So now he'll stop texting me, thank goodness. Um, so it, it's exciting to see the way he played tonight and responded. A lot will be made of the 91-yard touchdown, but can you tell how important it is that you did not turn the ball over? It's pretty good. You haven't had a turnover. You managed things. There just wasn't that, just, there wasn't that turnover that could have swung something. Well, you know, we talked about it. You know, and I talked to you guys about it on Tuesday. And, you know, we talked about it as a team all week about ball security. I mean, when you really look at the last couple of weeks, I mean, going back to the UCLA game, the one thing we've done early in the game is we've turned the ball over that's resulted in points for the other team. So, you know, sometimes, you know, you might call it a little conservative, but, you know, we're, you know we, we did a good job of, you know, trying to flip fill position, getting the clock running, settling Dalton in, giving him some easy throws, um, establishing the run game. It was, it was tough, tough sledding early. And then as the second quarter got in, we really started kind of, you know, getting it and moving the ball. And then it allowed this guy to settle in and, and you know, make some plays, which he did. He made, I mean, that, that touchdown run was on the yeah. You know what? When you're starting a freshman quarterback, it's his first start. You know, we talked about again, just you know, being smart and you know, just allowing him to ease in. So we felt like if we could kick off, you know, and then you know, and work on field position and not put it in his hands right away, that he'd ease into it. And um, and he did more than that. He did a great job. Can you talk about his 91-yard touchdown? Well, what's going through your mind? Because he almost got. Well, I think that Barney was screaming, what's he doing, what's he doing? And I yelled back, he's getting the first down. And I said, oh, my God, he's actually scoring a touchdown. So, you know what, at the end of the day, you see it in college football every single week. The game's about players making plays, you know. And, you know, things weren't going well. I mean, we weren't moving the ball. We were kind of stagnant. And you know what? That's what's great about college football is you recruit these talented guys that have competitive <coughs> souls, and that's exactly what Dalton has. And I'll tell you what, he put us on his back on that play and made an unbelievable play. And I mean, I mean that wasn't a call. That wasn't something we ever, ever worked on. That's just his heart and spirit stepping up and doing something special. And if you're going to win football games, you have to have a couple of those every single game. You see it every Saturday. Well, was your thought to throw it away for a second? You got in the end zone and you, you kind of thought for a second. Well, you know, uh, what was going through my mind on that, I just thought it looked a little hairy for the throw, and I decided to get out of the pocket. And uh, as soon as I saw that black paint in the end zone, I said, oh, my God, I better get out of here because I better run to the other sideline if I get safety here. But uh, I got out, got a few good blocks, and just turned on the Jets and got six. You got Jets now, huh? <laughs> hey, I was running out of gas there. I was running out of gas there for a second. <laughs> Oh, Coach Sanchez could have made that pass. I mean, uh, it was a great call by, by Coach Cotton. He was wide open. We set it up perfectly. And uh, all I had to do was give him the ball and let him do the rest. What's just all your emotions going into your first career start? Um, you know, the whole team rallied behind me. So they, uh, they settled me down real well. Coach Sanchez, Coach Cotton, they, they did really well with, with settling me down. Um, obviously, the nerves were there in the very beginning. But once you settle in, football is football. Doesn't matter what level you're playing at, play to win the game. And that's just. Rolling from there. You, you talked earlier really about recruiting track guys. You know, obviously, Charles Eric, that just mm -hmm. had that burst. He even actually, when he split the defenders, had a little burst. Not yeah. like that. You <laughs> yeah. talked about Charles having that and how speed made a difference with him. Is he just well, I mean, it makes it, I mean, that's really the big separating factor in college football. When you look at these elite teams, they run, they, I mean, they have elite speed. So, you know, one of the biggest things we looked at when we got here was just kind of, you know, and I'm not saying our guys are slow, but when you look at, like, how do you get to that next level, right, where you have to have dynamic pass rushers, you have to have speed guys on offense, you have to have guys that can turn simple things into great things, you know, kind of like Dalton did on that play. So, you know, that, that's been a big emphasis, looking at guys and, um, and making sure that we bring in guys that can run at the highest level. So, you know, Charles, I mean, he, he's, a, he's a blazer. I mean, again, he's a, he's a 10, 500 meter guy, and there's not many of those guys walking around. So, you know, and the thing about it, I mean, the guy sitting next to me is a freshman. Charles is a freshman. Justin Poe is a freshman. Jaron Caldwell is a freshman. Uh, Nathan Jacobson is a sophomore. I mean, you, I mean, you look all around the field, and I mean, Makai Stevens is a freshman. Darren Woods is a freshman. Charles Claire, the cop to touchdown, he's a freshman. I mean, we got all kinds of young guys. I can't wait till they grow up. First play, they went deep. I mean, would have, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we were. I mean, you know, these are smart coaches. Coach Drew, you know, he's got that job for a reason. I mean, they got a good staff, and you know, it, you know, it, it, 
it's kind of that wounded animal deal. If somebody is showing that you know they're struggling with something, you immediately attack it. So we knew that they would do that, you know, and um, we worked it all week. And you know, we changed up the way we practiced this week. We we got really combative. We went back to running our rebel drill, and that's something you only do in camp. But we, we did that. We did one on ones every single day, and I mean, we really worked on our competitive spirit of practice this week. And one of the things we did was we ran one on ones every single day all week, and all we worked was verticals and posts and dropouts and things like that. So you know, that's your job is to make sure you prepare your guys and you know and get them you know doing things better that they were deficient at. And I thought our secondary, you know, did a good job tonight, challenging balls. Yeah, uh, crutches, just another receiver guys? It looks like it. We'll find out for sure, but, you know, the, the first word is he's probably done. So, um, I mean, we're... You go through that. I mean, the kid steps up and makes the touchdown for his first catch, but... Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, we're going to have to look at what we're doing. Um, you got Keys out now. Uh, Presley looks like he's out. Now you have Darren out. And, I mean, we're really down now receiver-wise. So, you know, it's okay. We've got a bunch of smart guys in the building. What we'll do is we'll probably take, uh, you know, a guy like Tolt, and he'll probably be involved in our 11 personnel package. He can line up at the receiver spot. He runs well enough. But he got hurt at the end of the game, too, so he didn't finish. So he might be out, too. So I don't know. Um, but the bottom line is we got a game next Saturday. So whatever we got to do, we'll patch him up and roll. You know what? It's uh, it's huge. I mean, because literally it's a clean slate, you know. So, you know, we got a work cut out for us this week, San Diego State, heck of a football team. We're going to their house. They've had, they got an exciting year going. Um, so it's going to be a tough task. But, you know, 1-0 gives you a shot, and that's what we're doing right now. We're trying to build opportunities for this program. You know, we haven't had a lot of opportunities and. You know, many years, but this is, you know, it's only a second win, but it's another opportunity towards a bowl game. It's another opportunity towards a, um, a conference championship, and those goals are all still in play. So we got to go play our guts out now and, you know, and execute at a high level. Yeah, you know, I mean, it, it's one of those deals where I feel like, our, again, our guys have done a really good job of playing hard. I mean, I don't think anybody questioned their heart. I mean, even a disappointing loss like last week, didn't fold the tents. They kept playing hard and just came up short in a bad deal. Um, so they did that again tonight, but they played smarter, you know. But we still made mistakes. We still had a personal foul on the quarterback out of bounds that extended a drive. We missed certain things. We're going to go back and some of those run pass read options with Dalton and just clean those things up and get better. But, you know, lighting the fuse is having energy, but it's also lighting the fuse of doing everything better, just executing at a higher level, communicating at a higher level, practicing at a higher level, just doing all those things. So um, I'm excited about where we're at, and I'm excited about our future, but we, don't, we have a ways to go. But, you know, we're on track. Well, you know, it's one of those deals coming into the game. You know, we knew they struggled running the ball a little bit. And, um, you know, you know they, they were committed to doing it. I mean, they, they took plenty of opportunity to try to run the football. The defense did a good job of making them one-dimensional. So when you make somebody one-dimensional, it gets harder to win games. So I thought Coach Bear did a really good job of game plan. He's a smart guy. Um, absolutely. I mean, I, I honestly don't think I played very well. I mean, the second half, um, there's a lot of things, just like you were saying, the run pass options. I made a lot of bad reads in the second half. So it's all going to be in the film room. Get in the film room tomorrow, correct our mistakes, and then look straight forward to San Diego State. Get in the film room 100% more, see what they're doing, and uh, know our opponent. I think that's huge. Dalton, you're going to see all this when you check your phone, but ESPN has your run out there already. Uh, you kind of hear that, and maybe what's your initial reaction now that, you know, your first game, you're on kind of the national stage already. Um, that's great, but that's not what I'm worried about at all. You know, you come out here, you play the game. All I'm worried about is getting a win. And that's what we did tonight. So we're going to enjoy it. Coach Sanchez says 24-hour rule. We're going to enjoy it. But we got a great opponent next week, and that's what I'm looking forward to right now. The high school coach said, you're at the best one to play great sound. Do you feel like that way or do you play maker? I guess, I guess I have a little bit of scrambling ability, but um, you, just, you, you look to make plays out there. And I had an opportunity to make one, and uh, but I couldn't do that by myself. I mean, Andrew Price made probably the best, one of the best blocks we've seen at the 50-yard line, which sprung me for six. So I had, there's probably three, four, five different blocks on that play. So that's not me making that play. That's me running the ball and getting great blocks from my teammates. It meant a lot to him. I told the room earlier, you know, he, you know, he's been sending me texts since we recruited him. I mean, I mean, literally, he has all the time. Once a week, you know, when's the date? And he's got like the day he was counting down to it and all that. And we were worried a little bit, like we had to settle him down. 
Um, but when he got in there, God, he, he looked. He was, he was a guy on a mission. But he's a talented guy. We, I mean, it's great for him to have this breakout game in that situation. Um, but we knew this was coming. I mean, when we recruited him, the way we watched him practice every day, and, you know, Lexington's an unbelievable, you know, football player for us. And now with Charles moving along, and he got Green, and he still got Campbell. And, you know, we got a pretty good, you know, group back there. But Charles, he had a spectacular night, and I couldn't be happier for him. All right, thanks, guys.